Yo, what up? It's Chico Adams coming at you live from the Team Vision Dojo right here in Orlando, Florida. One of the biggest guests I've had on the show so far. Former ECW original, former WWE superstar. How Pretty good. How about you? Yo, what's up? Not too much. <laughs> um, so, made your, I believe, in wrestling debut. Picked up a huge win over Maxwell Chicago. What's your experience been like so far? Oh, it's great. It's always, it's always great to get in the ring with younger talent. It's always great to be around younger talent. It makes me feel a little bit younger. It's not just, but it also pushes me, and, and the fact that there's a school not too far from where I currently reside makes it even better because now I can come and train with the students and learn from them as much as they're going to learn from me. Sounds great. And last night you picked up a huge victory, main event against Chase and not Cocky Ray. He shot on me the entire time, too. Really? Oh, my God. What's, what's your thoughts on him? He's a great worker. He's really intense. He's really tough, hard-hitting stuff and then, you know really I mean the screws weight champion so you can move around a bit so it was a good test for me as extreme rising heavyweight champion and I think you know having the two champions in the main event and also being a tournament match to advance in the next round there were so many different things the fans I think really enjoyed it. Definitely. Tell us they, about uh, Extreme Rising. Uh, extreme Rising it's, you know people say it's a new version of ECW but it's really not it's just a lot of young talent you're talking about a mix between all the great indie workers in the Tri-State area, up in the Northeast, some people from down here in Florida, uh, and a mix in guys like me, Raven, Rhino, uh, and some of the ECW originals. It's just a great mix of all the different generations of talent, and you throw them in the ring against each other, and you get a great, you know, hot yeah. matchups. It's either really good or really terrible. I have a, kind of an awkward question, but uh, yeah. how are your cats doing? Cats are doing that's not awkward at all. I love my cats. There you go. I love my cats more than my extreme rising title. How many cats? Easily. <laughs> three. three. Three cats. Sorry, go. Shane Douglas. Three. <laughs> uh, I have a uh, Scottish fall named Shana. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, Maine Coon named Pooh Bear who's like 20 pounds. And the newest addition is a exotic short haired tortoise shell named Snickers. Wow. Who's the terror? That's amazing. So, I'm their pet, actually. They tell me what they want, when they <laughs> want it. I couldn't so, leave until I fed them all. Well, they're, they're the them. They really are. It's awesome. I mean, actually, I really like having kids. And I, I said it was in my art video shoot where basically he asked me, he goes, well, would people think the last thing Steven Richards would, would be? What would you think? And I said, I love cats. And I actually want to open up a cat sanctuary someday. There you go. That kind of leads me to my next and final question. Uh, what's the future hold for well, the cat sanctuary would be great, but I don't know if there's any money in that. I, I don't know. I, I just think of one day at a time and trying to find that next great passion after wrestling, which is what every entertainer and every professional athlete tries to do. Uh, who knows what the future might hold in, in, in you know, maybe an opportunity in WWE or TNA. But I don't hold my breath for that. I just say I have a good match tonight. And I have my next booking, I have my tomorrow at the gym to prepare for it, and I, I really don't look past that right now. It sounds great. Thanks very much for being on the Thank show. Thank you. Any Yo, what up? <laughs> Yo, what up? I like when you did that. that Thank you. Cool. I don't it's like a, it wasn't your voice off camera. It was like a, you got in the camera. Exactly.